If you visited the Detroit Institute of Arts, there's a good chance you've seen it. 27 hand-painted frescoes depicting a creation story of mythic proportion, all accumulating in what the artist saw as one of humanity's greatest achievements, the Detroit auto industry. But this piece was not always the celebrated work it is today. So we're taking a deep dive in the turbulent history of Diego Rivera's Detroit industry murals on today's Michigan Moment. The murals can be found in the museum's central garden court, which has since been renamed the Rivera Court. The individual frescoes that make up the piece depict various scenes from Detroit's industries. In one panel, we can see scientists producing vaccines, while in an adjacent panel, soldiers in gas masks produce weapons of war. The two largest of the frescoes show scenes from Ford Motor Company's River Rouge plant. The mural also features several frescoes inspired by Aztec creation mythologies. This combination of scenes create a thorough line from humanity's mythic beginnings to our modern world of scientific and industrial achievement. The mural's artist, Diego Rivera, was commissioned for the piece in 1932 by then DIA director Wilhelm Valentiner. Valentiner wanted a great artistic work to bring fame to the museum while also honoring the city. Rivera was chosen for his painterly style but also his interest in the modern industries of the US. With a contribution of $20,000 from Edsel Ford, son of auto magnate Henry Ford, the commission was secured and Rivera started working. Born in Mexico City, Rivera first started drawing at the age of three. It said when he was caught drawing on the walls, his parents installed chalkboards and canvases to encourage him. After studying in Europe, Rivera returned to Mexico and became a pioneering figure in the mural movement of Mexican art. In 1931, the Museum of Modern Art held a major exhibition of Rivera's work. His then wife, artist Frida Kahlo, was in attendance. Rivera's painting, The Rivals, sold for a record $9.7 million at auction, making it the most expensive painting sold at auction by a Latin American artist. Rivera began his work on the mural by touring the River Rouge plant. He spent three months at the factory making sketches and interviewing various workers on the assembly line. Rivera's attention to detail was so specific, some museum visitors had recognized the likeness of their own relatives in the mural. While Rivera was working on the mural, over 6,000 auto workers went on strike. It is believed Rivera was inspired by the charged atmosphere of protest around the factory. Rivera completed the mural a year later in 1933. Now, despite his standing in the art world, Rivera had a notorious reputation in the States. As an outspoken Marxist, many were against Rivera's involvement with the murals. Upon their completion, the DIA invited religious leaders from multiple faiths to comment on the murals. The work was condemned as blasphemous by members of the Catholic and Episcopalian clergy. A Detroit News article from the time declared the murals vulgar and un-American. The controversy resulted in over 10,000 people visiting the museum on a single Sunday, which led to the city increasing the museum's budget. Though with the rise of McCarthyism in the 1950s, several of Rivera's murals were destroyed or painted over. Now, during this time, the DIA erected a large sign in hopes of giving context to the work. The sign read, and quote, Rivera's politics and his publicity seeking are detestable, but let's get the record straight on what he did here. He came from Mexico to Detroit, thought our mass production industries and our technology wonderful and very exciting, painting them as one of the great achievements of the 20th century. This came after the debunking 20s when our artists and writers found nothing worthwhile in America, and worst of all in America was the Middle West. Rivera saw and painted the significance of Detroit as a world city. If we are proud of this city's achievements, we should be proud of these paintings and not lose our heads over what Rivera is doing in Mexico today." End quote. Now today, the sign is no longer hanging and the murals have remained untampered with. The Rivera Court is registered with the National Register of Historic Places as a historic landmark. The murals continue to be a popular attraction for visitors to Detroit. Thank you for watching our show. If you'd like us to cover a specific topic in the future, leave a comment and we'll see you next time on Michigan Moment.